Hi, my name is Ben Sprague. The arts have come a long way in Bangor in the last 10 years or so. Certain organizations like Penobscot Theatre Company, the American Folk Festival, Bangor Symphony Orchestra, they get a lot of the credit and rightfully so. But there's also a lot of individual artists that are choosing to live and work in Bangor. And today we're going to meet one of those artists. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today. I'm just enjoying painting plein air, or it means outside in the open air, on site, um, a, a painting of Main Street in Bangor. Um, I think you just get a different feel of it when you're outside and, and it's a different challenge than if you're in your studio painting from a photograph. It's actually much more challenging being out here. What are your thoughts on the, the art scene in Bangor? You could be doing this anywhere in the world. Why do you choose to be here in Bangor? There's actually a lot going on here. And I think that's actually true of most places if you care to look and if you care to be involved. Um, I've seen downtown come to life. I used to bartend downtown and it, it got a lot busier. You know, it may not be the kind of art that I do. It could be graffiti, it could be dance, um, but in different ways. Uh, that mural that we did at the downtown Bangor Art Walk last time um, gives you an idea just to, if you saw people there in the rain just enjoying making marks on the wall. None of it was particularly artistic you could say but it was a form of self-expression and um, and I actually that's one thing I'd love to see Bangor do more of is have murals all around town maybe historic ones showing the development of the city and, and what we do but to have public art like that big art that people can see from a distance and that is freely available to everyone i think there's always been a great cultural environment in bangor but i think there's a lot more publicity for it now so there's a lot more opportunities that seem to be coming up There's really a lot going on, whether it's for kids or for seniors. The arts programs in the Bangor School District are fantastic. I think it's thriving better than I've seen it since I moved here about 16 years ago now. You don't have to be fantastic at it, but as my mother always told me, you don't get better without practice. Uh, I love downtown Bangor. I think it's, it's nice to see it growing. We've been here as a business two years and almost four months now. And it's just nice to see uh, the community growing and coming together. Well, there's a lot to be learned by culture and it brings people together. Different types of people come together to enjoy the arts and culture. And normally those people maybe wouldn't necessarily hang around. I think that's what the social fabric of a town is about. Just stopping to take time with each other a little bit. If somebody doesn't care about downtown or the arts, why would you say that this all matters, the arts and things going on down here? Because it brings people to Bangor. And the more people that come to Bangor, the better off we all are. It's just people having pride. I mean, I think you look at Pigeon, you look at other other artists and, and a lot of other people. I mean, people just have that pride in Bangor again. You know, I think that was something that was missing a key component of that. And you still, when you talk to people outside of Bangor, there still is that kind of stigma that it, it carries with it. You know, it's, you know, and that's just part of it. It's hard to overcome that. I'm trying to get people downtown and to see, you know, it's not, it's not dangerous. It's not Bob Bath Salt City or Scum City or whatever. It's, it's a good place to be. I think younger people are probably trying to stick around. I mean, it seems like before a lot of people were leaving, so maybe they're trying to stay now. Well, I mean, the arts, I mean, just really showcase um, what the community is as, you know, it really gives you a sense of pride and it makes you, you really own the city, you know, saying so like if you really have ownership over that, you want it to be better, you want it to, to do more for yourself, so. About what would you say to all the people out there say, I'm, I'm just not artistic, I just can't oh, do this? get out and try it. You don't know it if you haven't tried it. And try it many, many, many times. Because uh, believe me, Picasso wasn't a master when he started. Uh, it, it really, like everything else, it takes practice. And it's also just about being creative and doing something with other people.